Hey guys, um, it's Grace. So, um, this video is going to be definitely more on the serious side, um, but I just like need to make it and let you guys know that I'm here for you and that I do care about all of you guys. Even if I don't know you or never talk to you, I care about you. Um, just kind of an awareness video, I guess. Uh, so this morning, I woke up with a really bad headache, so I didn't go to school. And I was going to go, like, I was planning on, like, just sleeping some more and waiting, like, hoping it would go away and then I'd go back to school um, for, like, the last half of the day. But when I woke up, um, my friend had texted me. Um, with some pretty horrible news. Um, one of my old co-workers from back when I worked at KFC um, is no longer with us. Um, I don't know the whole story because um, it did he was discovered today but he chose to end his own life. Um, and I don't know why. I don't think that anyone really knows why Eric will ever really know why. Uh, there's a few ideas that I've been going around about it. Whether it was from like an ex like a breakup or losing his job. But I mean, that's not the sole reason for any of that thing like that. Um, so I don't think I'm going today at all. Just because I'm, I'm just kind of numb. And like... Anytime I try and like think about anything, um, I just think about him, and it's really hard. He was a really, really good guy. Um, I don't think he was ever really mean to anyone. He was just a really sweet guy, and he was kind of out there, and um, you know, we kind of gave him a hard time for it. But it wasn't like we didn't bully him, and like he would give it, like it was, you know, how like friends kind of like tease each other and stuff. Like it was like that, and. Um, I just remember back at KFC, he was really, really nice to me and would help me out even though I had been working there a lot longer than him. Um, he always wanted to be able to help and he did help a lot and he was a very sweet guy. So that's pretty tough. Um, I guess the like one thing that I'm struggling with is um, it happened in a place that I have a lot of memories a public place um, is where they found him, I guess, and so all those great memories that I have, like, just remind me of him now, and I'm scared that I won't be able to go back there, it was one of my favorite places to go. Um, that sounds really selfish, uh, but it's not, honestly, like... I don't know, he was a good guy, and uh, a lot of people knew him, even though he was from, like, a really small town next to my town, and, like, you know, everybody who lives out there is, like, hick town, because, like, no one lives out there, it's really small. Um, it's, like, 20 minute drive from here, but still, like, a lot of people from my school, which is a big, it's one of the, like, top two schools, um, in size and stuff in the area. And, um, a lot of people from our school knew him and grew up with him, or for me, like, I worked with him. I talked to him less than a month ago. Um, my friend had a get-together, and he was living with her at the time boyfriend and lived with him for, like, a year, and he sh showed up at the get-together, and so we talked and stuff, and I asked him if he was still at KFC, and he's like, no, I quit, like, shortly after you did, because, like, a lot of people quit right after I did, because he kind of... There was some bad vibes there, um, but yeah, so I guess this is kind of like more of an awareness video. Uh, it's a very serious topic, a very touchy topic. Um, he will definitely be remembered fondly, and I don't want to see any comments about like how people who do that are like horrible people and all that because like you don't know 
what was going on. Um, it doesn't mean that they're terrible people. I mean, it's, it is a selfish thing to do in the sense that you're leaving all these people behind with a memory of you, but at the same time, like, when you're that torn up and miserable, you're not, your sanity isn't fully intact, and, um, you, you, you're hurting so much that the thought of how it's going to affect other people is, like, not even the same world that you're in. It has nothing to do with hurting someone or leaving the people that you love. It has to do with just ending that pain. Because that's all that you can feel and it's so, it numbs everything else out. Um, and there's a lot of people I know who have been very close to that point or have attempted to end their own lives. Um, it does, you know, I know everybody says it does get better and, but when you're like that, it, you, you can't see anything else and, um, it's just really hard. I've never attempted suicide personally, um, but I have been, I have had moments where that's all I can think about. Um. And I think a lot of people, especially people who struggle with severe depression and anxiety, like I do, um, have had those points in their lives where, or at least understand that feeling of just complete despair and dread and hopelessness. Um, just absolute shit. <laughs> like, everything is shit. And I really wish that, um, he would have said something to someone because he could have gotten help and, um, it wouldn't have had, it didn't have to happen. It's 100% pre preventable. Um, and it just really hurts to know that he didn't feel like he could talk to anyone. Because I assure you that no matter who you are, there's someone that you can talk to. And if you can't think of anyone, um, who you are with or you know that you feel you can talk to, you can always talk to me, I'm safe, I'm a stranger, you can remain anonymous, um, just message me, or comment, or do whatever it is you have to do to reach me, um, because I, I don't care who you are, um, I'm here for you, and, I don't want you to ever feel like you don't have anyone to talk to. I am here for you. I want to help you. Um, I want to get you help so you don't feel that way anymore. And I want to be able to at least be at least one person, one contact in your life who will listen. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> um, and if you guys are not struggling so much with that right now, um, just understand that other people are. Choose at least one person a day to smile at or to talk to who you haven't talked to before. Because literally anything can help. Anything. And just try your best to be supportive of people even if you don't agree with them. Um, just do everything, no matter how small, anything to help a person at least once a day because it does save lives. Um, and if you are in that situation where you don't have anyone, you have me, you have my support. Even if you don't talk to me, know that I don't wish that on anyone. And I want to be there for you, and I want to help you. So, um, 
thank you guys for watching. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video now because I need a tissue. That's hot. Um, please feel free to comment, rate, subscribe, and contact me if you ever need anything because I will be there for you. If you just need someone to say hi to or you need advice or you need somewhere to go, a direction to go for help, um, it's not easy. It's It really... <laughs> It's not easy because you you don't know and you're trusting someone and confiding these dark, dark thoughts and feelings in someone. But sometimes it's easier if you don't know the person and you can be anonymous and I will be that person for you. Um, so again, thank you guys so much and I will see all of you guys in the next video. Stay happy, keep smiling, and I will see you guys later. Bye.